I'd like to start to thank the University of São Paulo for hosting this workshop and for the Chain Zuckerberg Initiative for the generous support of this workshop. And also to thank the organizing committee, Patricia Severino, Professor Elder Nakaya, and John Randall to put together this very exciting program that we are bringing for you guys today. Next slide, please. We're going to start today, bring the welcome from Professor Silvio Canuto, that is the Provost of Research of the University of Sao Paulo, followed by the section one, that we're going to have then the introduction of the Human Cell Atlas Initiative. For most of us in Latin America, it will be the first time that we're going to hear about this initiative, so it's a very excited moment for us. In the section two, you're going to see what is going on in the regional um, working groups in HCA, in regional networks and working groups in HCA, and go to have then a pause for the lunch, and you come back just after lunch with a, with a session dedicated for the COVID-19. You go to know what single cell research is, is helping to understand uh, the COVID pathogenesis. Finally, in the session four and five, we're going to have then, uh, we're going to hear about our colleagues that is doing already, is already, they already work in the single cell research in Latin America. Next slide, please. We want to make this, we want to make this workshop a very unique experience. It's very important for us to have your feedback, to be interactive, to, to, to in order to, to get your questions or to get your contribution, please just go now for slide.com slash HCALA, just scanning using your cell phone the QR code that is here. You can get for this, uh, this platform that is very friendly to use, and you can submit your questions in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Next, please. So you can go for this tab here and go for the questions. So you go to prioritize the more voted questions to get to the panelists and speakers. Next, please. So as I said, you can ask in English, of course, in Spanish and Portuguese, we're going to translate for you guys. Next. And something else that you, you are providing today, so you can listen the whole workshop in Spanish if you will. Just go for this link here and get the workshop in Spanish. Next, please. Something else that is very important for us, I mean, so if you have resources to share, just go for the tab here, ideas, and share your resources. Your resources can be very valuable for, 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 for our network. So this is something that slide you can do also for us. Next slide, please. And participate. I mean, as I said, it's extremely important to be interactive. You want to know, you can participate on the polls in questions like this. So how did you hear about Latin America workshop? So let's see how many people is already on the platform. So here we have more, um, more from a colleague, from a friend. So see, you have already more than 100 people already connected. So this is very good. You see already people participate in that. So this is very good. As you see, it's a very friendly platform to use. So please uh, um, help us to improve this, this workshop by even better for you guys. So it's great. I mean, you can see there. So people participate. So it's extremely really important for us to have your feedback. Yeah, it was great. It's really working. Yeah, it's great. Fantastic. 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 See, it's pretty much more, maybe something from Latin America, from a colleague or a friend. I don't know if there's a tendency for the work, work, other workshops, but it's, it's very nice to have this real time. So it's wonderful too. Maybe you can go for, for the next uh, question. And we want to know if this is the first uh, HCA event that you participated. So let's see, wow, 79, so this is great. So we have the numbers raising there, so this is great. So please send this link for your colleagues, share this link that, that, that you have there you, uh, with your people in your university and give them the chance, I mean, to see this wonderful workshop that we have to present for you guys today. So wonderful, 120 people already, so wow, this is fantastic, fantastic. Let's break all the records, guys, today. 
and something else that you want to know. I mean, so what you want to get out from this from this workshop today? You are looking for a collaboration, knowledge, so network. So let's see what people is writing there. I expect to have something coming related maybe with um, disease or something that you see specific for Latin America. So it's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, so this is fantastic. It's really great. It's really working. Wonderful. So, so uh, uh, before before go uh, be, before I introduce Professor Silvio uh, uh, Can, uh, Silvio Canuto, the provost of research of the São Paulo University, I want more to thank all you guys. I mean, to be here, participate with us today. We have speakers and panelists around of the world, so it's very late at night for in some countries, very early in other countries. So thanks so much to be here with, with us today. It's extremely important moment for us in Latin America. So I uh, want to make part of this network. I mean, so thank you very much to be here and supporting us. So let's go for Professor Silvio Canuto now. Thank you so much. Talk with you guys later. So hello everyone. Hello. Uh, this is good morning for most of us, but I believe it's also good afternoon for some of you. I am the Vice President of Research for the University of Sao Paulo, and I'm very pleased to participate in this event. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, this is a rather important uh, meeting that we should be all aware and have made some effort to contribute to the HCA. I have sent uh, a recorded video with my welcome remarks. So perhaps I should ask you now to present the video that I have already sent before. <clears throat> I'd like to start by saying that it's both a great pleasure and certainly an honor to address all of you at this welcome talk. A great pleasure because this is the outcome of one year effort to include Latin America in this important international commitment. And also because it is with a great pride that we see the University of Sao Paulo acting as an open window for the continent, which important scientists and expanding the reach of friends and collaborators. And this is an honor to see that we are part of the Human Cell Atlas Project, the HCA aiming to elaborate comprehensive reference maps of all human cells as a basis for understanding fundamental human biological processes and as such, diagnosing, monitoring, and treating diseases points to an outstanding scientific endeavor. The human cells that are the fundamental and basic unities of life. This is thus not without a reason that this is considered one of the most important scientific international effort since the Genoma Project, and we want to be part of this. I have to thank the Institute of Biomedical Science for bringing this to my attention more than one year ago. I should mention Dr. Lucio Freitas and Professor Luis Carlos Ferreira for organizing the workshop named Mapping the Human Body, Introducing the Human Cell Atlas to the Brazilian Scientific Community which I had the privilege to participate again, addressing the satisfaction of hosting the workshop here at the University of Sao Paulo. This was early September last year, or slightly more than one year ago. And this was a triggering moment. I take this chance to thank Dr. Alex Chalek from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Dr. Musa Milanga, University of Cape Town, and Dr. John Akul of the Chan Zuckerberg Science Initiative. They were not only our valuable partners in this workshop held at USP, but also important and key elements 
for the invitation I received to participate next in the coming meeting of the AGCA in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, in late October 2019. I immediately accepted this invitation, and at this meeting, I made a presentation of the Sao Paulo capabilities, extending this to include Latin America. It was at this occasion that, backed by my important colleagues who work in the cell science in general, we suggested to have Sao Paulo as an open window for integration with our continent. Latin America was still absent of the AGCA calls. The uniquely mixed population would certainly be a valuable asset for the entire AGCA project. And of course, this stresses an inclusive policy. In line with the aims of the AGCA project, we can bring together experts in biology, medicine, genomics, technology development, and computation, including here data analysis, software engineering, and visualization. We support and promote open science, equity policies, and we, the University of Sao Paulo, are members of the Planetary Health Alliance. In fact, we are organizing this next April the fourth international meeting of the Planetary Health Alliance. After Harvard, Edinburgh, and Stanford, the next and fourth meeting will take place at USP next year. We believe in science for the good of the society. Science is the answer and the most important tool to fight against diseases, whether it's local or pandemic. Science should be integrated with the interest of promoting better population standards, improving health, spreading education for all, and ultimately looking for a better world. One should struggle for decreasing social inequalities and respecting different ethnics and their cultural values. Science means systematic knowledge, and as such, it is the most effective light against darkness. Science is the basic and the strongest pillar to hold modern society. The lack of science is efficient only to promote poverty, social injustice, and superstition. Before concluding, I recognize that many of us are involved in this effort and in the organization of the Human Cell Atlas Latin America and in this event in particular. I mentioned Dr. Lucio Freitas, Dr. Patricia Severino, Dr. Elder Nakaya, and Dr. John Rundell. And in their names, I respectfully want to salute and thank all those members that are strongly involved and very dedicated working to accomplish these important scientific goals. On behalf of the University of Sao Paulo, I want to congratulate all of you. Thank you very much. So, thank you for your attention, and uh, I conclude now my talk. Thank you.